Hey guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. I'm Missy and today we are making freezer apple pie filling. So let's get started. I've been heating my water in my pressure cooker canner. It's already to a boil. Tony was nice enough. He peeled all my apples for me. He thought I was going to take credit. Okay, I just want to say that this is a bunch of crap. Why is it that I'm stuck here peeling, coring, and spinning all these apples and my wife gets to bake it and get all the credit for making her apple pie filling? I'm going to make sure when I'm editing this video to put this in there so she can't just be like, oh, I, I just got done peeling all these apples and all that stuff. I did this, all right? So... I deserve my little moment of credit in this mess too. Um, so he did about 14 cups and whenever these cook down, it'll actually be a lot less. So we're going to just start adding these to the boiling water. I did treat these with lemon juice so they wouldn't turn as brown. But I didn't do it until after Tony had them all peeled. That's why they're just slightly brown. These are all apples that are grown on the farm. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to start adding all of my seasonings and sugar to it. This is my seasonings. This is enough seasoning for three regular pies or two deep dish pies. And I've put three and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, three and a half tablespoons of ground allspice, one teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of ginger. That's what my recipe calls for. There is a million different recipes out there and all of them call for different amounts of spices. This is what we like, so this is what we use. Here's my sugar. This is four cups of sugar. Some recipes call for brown sugar. I just use white sugar in mine. I've always got it available and I'm always ready that way. Mm. I love the smell of apple pie filling cooking. Right, just a few more apples and we'll try and squeeze them on the top here. Alright, so there we go. We got all of our apples in there. We're going to close this up, let it cook for a few minutes. We'll come back and check it. 
then we'll add our clear gel to it. Okay guys, so just checked our apples. They're doing good. I had it on, um, I had it on for, I started out with my water already boiling and I put my apples in. I let it cook for six minutes approximately and you want your apples to be softer but you don't want them to be mushy because keep in mind they're going to have to cook again in your apple pie. So we're going to take this lid off. And now we're going to add our last ingredient, which is clear gel. This will make your apple pie look like the apple pies in the store. Now you may say, I don't have clear gel. Where do I get it? Um, Grandma got this from the Amish and gave it to me. So I'm not sure exactly where you'd buy it from. I'm sure you can buy it online. But if you want more of a down-home type pie, which is what I normally make, you can also use cornstarch or flour as your thickener. It does not have to be this, but it will look more like a home-cooked pie then. All right, let's get this stirred into it. My apples have cooked down, as you see. I just try and slowly stir it in so it doesn't clump. It's usually pretty good about not clumping. And that was one and a half cups. This is going to cook for an additional two minutes. Then we're going to take it off of the heat, let it cool, and then we'll be, it'll be ready to bag. Man, that smells so good. This is nice because it's all in one pot. You don't have to do it in multiple ones. See how it's starting to thicken? And then as it cools, it'll thicken even more. And all you're going to do with this is all you have to do is make your pie crust, pour this filling in, put your top of your pie crust on, and bake it as normal. Except for you're only cooking your crust so you don't have to bake it as long as you normally would. Oh, another note. I probably should tell you, I did not pressure can pressure cook this at all. This was just the regular um, doing it on crock pot. It wasn't pressure cooked. I'm going to put this lid back on it for a minute. Okay guys, so there you have it. We have them bagged up. We didn't we just sealed them. We did not vacuum them. We let it, the pie filling cool down a little bit, but it was still warm whenever we bagged it. And it is now ready for the holidays, for Thanksgiving and Christmas whenever I get ready to make homemade apple pies. Thanks for joining us here at the Frugal Homestead, and we'll see you in the next one.